This is Twit. Um, how did Borland's Turbo Pascal come about? Oh well, so that was a, that was an interesting uh, project. So uh, first, I came to America, um, and then, by the way, uh, immigrants they get the job done. To quote Hamilton. You came to America uh, actually, without a green actually, card. I wasn't, I wasn't an immigrant. That's in, inaccurate. Okay. I was, uh, to be accurate, I was an illegal immigrant. Yeah. There you go. I was illegal for five years in this country. No green card. No green card. I was, uh, I was on a, I was on a tourist visa. So I hope someone's not going to kick me a out. A long expired uh, tourist visa by the end of five years. It was, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm a U.S. citizen now. But anyway, um, so yes, I, I came as a tourist and I started a consulting company at the time called MIT Market in Time because I realized that in when I came here, I didn't know anybody and I was a technical guy. So uh, I started going, okay. I need to find work with people who need what I can do. So uh, I started doing consulting, and I did consulting for Osborne. I, I actually worked on the operating system for the Osborne portable computer and no stuff kidding. like that. Now, that was DOS, right? But it had some uh, yeah. custom... No, that was not DOS. That was that was uh, its own operating system. That it was? was? Oh, I thought it was... Because it came with WordStar and all these DOS programs, but it was uh, its own OS. Yeah, and 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 so it, it well, you know, it it it, it wasn't it wasn't uh, Microsoft DOS. It uh -huh. was a disk. It was a disk operating system. Yes. <laughs> yes, but, but not, not not MS DOS, MS -DOS or yeah. PC DOS. Microsoft had nothing to do with it, and it so, wasn't CPM. No, well, yeah, actually, it was. It was a variation of CPM. Oh, okay. A disk operating system varied of CPM, uh, control program for microcomputers, something like that. That's what CPM stood, if I remember well. It's been a long time. <laughs> and and so everything was done in assembler language at the time, and I right. was pretty good at it. So I, I, that allowed me to make a living here. Um and 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 get started and with my company. Uh, unfortunately, my biggest customer was Adam Osborne, but unfortunately, he went out of business <laughs> and and never paid the rest of my bills. Oh no! And so, so you know that's part of the storms we're talking about. What happens in business sometimes, yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I had to, you know, one thing against another, et cetera, et cetera, and so. Um, at the time, we needed to build. Um, we build this, you know, to build software. You needed tools, and there were two um, two uh, worlds that were, was, uh, you know, coexisting. One was the CPM world, as you said, and the other one was the new PC DOS world, where, um, uh, you know, that both were. One was kind of 8-bit. The other one was 16-bit. That was starting like that. And uh, we needed tools. And um, and so uh, I needed a Pascal compiler. And so uh, I licensed a, um, the, the actual core of a compiler from a company in Denmark called Polydata. And then I... Um, I built um, uh, a front end to it, which was really the key because everything was a command line interpreter. And it, at the time, that was very difficult with small amounts of memory. You couldn't run simultaneously an editor in memory and a and a compiler and all that. It, it, everything was very tedious because you know you had to fit everything in 64 kilobytes of memory. And so, what we need to to do is. Uh, is, is create an integrated system that ran in 60. So that's really what my contribution was, was to create an interactive, ultra-fast system that could actually do um, uh, program, compile, uh, debug uh, in a very rapid cycle and allow people to build programs. And that was the success of, of Turbo Pascal. That's was huge. That, that in 49.95. Well, you know that's an interesting an interesting point. I think price was a decision we made because, uh, in many ways, we didn't have another choice. We didn't have distribution. We didn't have a company. We didn't have anything. So I asked uh, Jerry Pornell at the time, uh, which who I met. Uh, I was a big fan of his science fiction. I asked, "What would you do?" And he said, "You know, you should sell a mail order." And then I. 
I realized what, you know, we studied mail order. It says, okay, well, if we're going to do that, it has to be cheap. But the the compiler itself, the pricing, the, 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 at the same price, you would have you would have still used our program. If we, if you could only buy it for six ninety five, you would use our program. But um, that was a success of Turbo Pascal. Regardless of price, it was the best product. And then it was a tenth of the price of the others. Right. And you could get it direct, right. and that was like that. That created a, a fantastic opportunity, and so that started this company called Borland, and we followed up with. Actually, what became the most successful product, more more successful than than let me, let me Pascal, guess. Sidekick? sidekick, sidekick, exactly. The first because, terminate and stay resident program, man. That thing, you can multitask. 